Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Josie's Point of View, where we focus on human nature stories from the Carolinas and beyond. Today it's Thursday and it's July the 8th, 2021. Thank you so much for tuning in. And our story today takes us to Fort Bragg here in North Carolina. Take a look at the headline. And it reads to Fort Bragg soldiers, multiple child sex assault charges. I've combined these two cases because they're very similar and they both demonstrate a lack of maturity by our young men, men in, the, in the armed forces. It makes you just want to slap them around and say, just what the hell are you thinking? I'll provide you with a summary here. And as always, I'll place links to a few of the full articles in the description box. And here's the title for the first case, and it reads, ex Fort Bragg soldier gets 12.5 years in staged kidnapping of a 12-year-old girl. And this is a perfect example how very poor judgment in conjunction with a set of stupid actions is sending him to jail for a very long time. And this is what we know about the case. It was one morning in October when a new Burr, North Carolina grandmother found a ransom note requesting $20,000 in a 12 year old granddaughter's empty bedroom. Now the police were called and an investigation was started. They found mulch from the yard on the child's bed as well as smudges on the window. However, there was no signs of forced entry. But when they checked the 12 year old girl's Facebook page, they were alerted to the fact that a young man they did not know was identified as a boyfriend. And of course, the investigators immediately began trying to find out who he was. And that young man turned out to be 20-year-old James Fletcher Peel, a private second class assigned to the 82nd Airborne Division at Fort Bragg. Later that day, investigators from the Federal Bureau of Investigation found Peel and a young girl in his barracks room at Fort Bragg. A forensic examination revealed that Peel had recently had sex with a 12-year-old child. Now, during the course of the investigation, the FBI interviewed another soldier stationed at Bragg, one of um, Peel's friends, who described a very creepy incident. He told investigators that approximately one week before the staged kidnapping, Peel had asked him to ride to his girlfriend's home in New Bern. Peel had told him the girl was 18 years old. Peel had him park his car a few houses away, and they both walked back and entered the girl's bedroom through the, an open window. The friend said he grew concerned when he noticed the childlike items in the room and was even more disgusted when Peel and the girl started making out in his presence. In fact, he told police he left the room when the two started making out. That's, that's what he said, but it's probably not exactly what happened. Investigators also learned that Right after the staged kidnapping, Private Peel drove the minor child to his parents' home in South Carolina, where he introduced her as his girlfriend and said she worked in a sewing shop. And while he was there, he was contacted by Fort Bragg authorities, and he was instructed to return to the base immediately. And we know now that's because they wanted to talk to him. And I'm sure that they did not let him know exactly why they needed him to come back to the base, because had he known the outcome could have been completely different. But nonetheless, when he got back on Fort Bragg, he had the girl wait in his barracks while he reported to his unit, and that's how they were able to find her in his barracks room. The victim admitted she was having a sexual relationship with the soldier. She stated when she told him her actual age, which was 12 years old, he told her that age was just a number. She also admitted that she had never been kidnapped and that it all had been staged by, by her army soldier boyfriend. And in a Tate confession, Private Peel confessed to having sex with a 12-year-old child and for writing the ransom note. However, he claimed that the girl wanted to leave with him and had come up with the idea of staging the kidnapping herself. But nonetheless, he pled guilty to transporting a minor with the extent, with the intent to engage in criminal sexual activity, and he also faced some other charges. And as part of the plea agreement, the charge of sexual abuse of a minor was dismissed. And on April the 5th, 2021, Private James Murdoch Peel was sentenced to 12.5 years in prison for his poor judgment. And after he is released, he'll be required to spend an additional 10 years on supervised probation. 
And just a few weeks later, on June the 10th, 2021, the Cumberland County Sheriff's Office published notice of another case pertaining to yet another soldier for Fort Bragg being arrested on child sexual assault charges. And this time we're talking about this young man, 21-year-old Damian Campbell from Georgia, living in Fayetteville and currently assigned to 82nd Airborne Division at Fort Bragg. I believe they said he's assigned to the 1st Special Forces Group. He had been on Fort Bragg since 2019, and this is what we know about the case. And according to information that's posted on the county's police webpage, on Thursday, June the 10th, they were assisting another county in the search of a 12-year-old runaway girl. They may have been able to trace her to this particular address in Fairville, but when they got to the home and searched it, they found a 12-year-old child, but they also found this 21-year-old paratrooper, Damian Campbell. And after conducting their interviews, it was released to the media that Camp, that first the runaway, the 12 year old runaway had been found, but it was also stated that Campbell, who belongs to the special forces group, first special forces command group, that he would be facing a series of charges, including statutory rape. And specifically, his charges are statutory rape, three counts, statutory sexual offense, five counts, indecent liberties, five counts, and he remains in the Cumberland County Jail under a $550,000 secure bond. You know, sometimes I struggle to find the right words. Here you have two young soldiers and their lives have been ruined by poor choices. I am left to wonder whether Fort Bragg is really doing enough to help these young men make sense of a decision. They come to the military right out of high school, and I'm trying to figure out whether Fort Bragg believes it has a role to play in preparing these young men for adulthood. Or maybe it's just the arrogance of it all, the idea of being assigned as a paratrooper that's creating this false sense of security. And what's even more frightening, it does not seem as if they're they are paying attention or learning from the poor decisions of their peers. And this is a perfect example. Just as the news of Private Peel's sentence of 12.5 years is blasted over the media for his role with a 12 year old, you have news now of Private Campbell displaying, displaying similar behavior of poor judgment and having sex with another 12 year old child, a runaway. We have a serious problem on our hand, and I just wish I knew how to solve it. And that's all I have for you right now. Feel free to leave me your comment and share with me your perspective on this video. There's a lot that we need to do. I'm not just sure how we need to approach it. And feel free to share this video and don't forget to like it. And most of all, don't forget to subscribe. And if you click on that notification bell, you'll be the first to know whenever a new video is loaded. I thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.